All right, coming up next, it is a women's flyweight tilt between Paige Van Zandt and Ashley Evans-Smith. While drillers make killers and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman, she has become a force in this division. And even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter beans, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now. We'll see how it goes forward here tonight. All right, so here's the mixed martial arts superstar, Paige Van Zandt. This is a fighter's fighter, DC. She could do any number of things when it comes to her celebrity and her profile. She wants to fight in the UFC, and she's back tonight. She wants to be inside the octagon because she understands that before the UFC and before all these things, she was a fighter. Yeah. She came here to try and build a career. And by building a career, she built a second career outside of fighting, from dancing with the stars to the swimsuit edition. All of it, though, is based on her ability to win fights. When you go back and you watch some of her victories, the Alex Chambers victory and the jumping kick against Beck Rawlings, you understand the level of martial artist that Paige Van Zandt is. She has missed a lot of time due to injury, missed all of 2017, had an arm injury that kept her out most of 2018, now plying her trade as a flyweight. We'll see how it goes for PVZ here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter holding a special record of six wins, five losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Ashley Evans Smith. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of eight wins, five losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds, fighting out of Portland, Oregon. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? All right, here we go, round one, submission artist, both of them. You got the gi on, you're so excited for this match. I mean, I'm excited. I took my coat, I took my suit coat off and threw my gi on. Don't forget my brown belt, J.A., but my brown belt does not match the black belt that these two women possess. These are two of the greatest jiu-jitsu specialists we have ever seen in the octagon. Oh, the right hand is there for Can't take many of those, you better check. Well, she talked a lot about the path of least resistance being the clinch, and she clinches here early. And watch for her to start to mix in that great judo background that we've seen her do on so many different occasions. Leg kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Bleeding over the left eye now. I mean, that right hand landed square. Try to establish that jab. Big leg kick land. Oh, massive kick. Everything behind it. Oh, man. Shin to the dome. Shades of Valentina Shevchenko against Jessica I. I'm not sure how many more head kicks her opponent can take here. She cannot take any more of these head kicks the way she is setting it up. It's very beautiful. Nice mixing of the targets and having a confidence about herself to throw and land that kick with so much force. 
So just over 20 total strikes and counting, which have landed for Paige Van Zandt. Big kick lands. Well, she has really shored some things up defensively here as she blocks another set of shots there. She said it was going to be a focus, get better defensively, and tonight she's showing that the work has been done. Oh, what a strike by her there. I do not doubt her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent. Just a near perfect strike to end the fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. And this is exactly the way she drew it up. She said, I need to win this fight, but I need to do it by stoppage. I can't leave it in the judges' hands. If I'm going to take my career to the next level, I've got to get the knockout win here tonight. Mission accomplished. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, 12 gauge, Paige Van Zandt. Well, there she is, and you can be sure there's gonna be a long line at the after party <laughs> tonight after what she was able to accomplish tonight. I mean, she will be as popular tonight as she's ever been because no one forgets a knockout like this. It'll be on TV, it'll be on the news, it'll be available everywhere she turns for the next few weeks. And this is a massive moment for her.